Hello everyone! Welcome to the tutorial of Gato Plugins. Today I'll show you how to show single attribute on shop page. So without any further delay, let's get into the main video. Before heading to the main video, I'll activate both the free and premium version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce. This is my shop page. On my shop page, I have four products and each product contains two attributes. They are color and size. If you click on any of the products, you'll see on the product page, the product also contain the color and size attribute. Let's assume on my shop page, I only want to display the color attribute, but on the product page, I don't want to make any changes. To do so, go to the backend and navigate to swatches. The premium version of the variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin has a special attribute settings. That setting is catalog mode. Give a check mark on the option show single attribute taxonomies on archive page. On the choose attribute option, these are the global attributes that I created on the global attribute page. Now I will select color attribute as I want to display only the color attribute on the shop page. Now save the changes. Go to the shop page and reload the page. So you can see on the shop page only the single color attribute is available. In the same process, you can also show only the size attribute on the shop page. If you want to see the attribute variations, then you need to click on each color swatch, right? And after that, images will change according to the variations. But from catalog mode display event option, instead of on click, if you select on hover and save the changes, then on the shop page, you'll see if you hover over the variations, then images are changing according to the variations. Try to notice another thing. If you click on any variation, then nothing is happening. But from linkable attribute option, if you give a check mark on this option and save the settings, then if you go on the shop page, and click a variation then it will directly take you to the product page and the color swatch that I selected on the shop page is also selected on the product page now go back to the shop page you can see for this product I have four color swatches and for this product I have three color swatches for this again I have three swatches and for this again four color swatches now let's assume you don't want to show all the color swatches on the shop page. In this case, you can limit the swatches. To do so, from attribute display limit option, I will set the swatches display limit. I will set a limit of 2 and save the changes. Now if you reload the shop page, you will see only 2 color swatches are showing on the shop page and if you want to see the remaining swatches then click on here and it will directly take you to the product page and you will be able to see all the variations if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos if you have any query please write them down in the comment section thank you